Welcome to Scrubbing In. I'm Paul Ross. I'm going to take you around Navy Medicine to show who we are and what we do. Today we're at the Tactical Combat Casualty Care Course to show how Navy Hospital Corpsmen save lives on the battlefield. From what I hear, I'm going to need this, so it's time to go get changed. Here with Hospital Corpsman Second Class Crystal Straub. She's about to put me through some TCCC training. Can you explain to me what that is? Absolutely. TCCC actually stands for Tactical Combat Casualty Care. And what it is is point of injury care. So it's our corpsmen that are going out there on the front lines and facing the danger, taking care of our Marines, our soldiers, and our other sailors. Now I know typically corpsmen are going to spend three days in the classroom before they get to the portion we've done. I did a modified training. Yes, um, what all goes into that classroom session? We have three days worth of didactics. So we start off with the PowerPoints. I teach. I have a pool of instructors that I like to get up there and teach, and we give them good statistics. We allow them to get good hands-on training. We do a crawl, walk, run phase so they get really comfortable with the skills. And then on the fourth day, we go ahead and put them in a mass casual scenario, much like you're fixing to do, and let them practice their actual skills. So what type of benefits does this have once the corpsmen are actually in a deployed environment? Well, it increases the survivability chance of our fellow shipmates, our fellow Marines, our fellow soldiers, our airmen as well. Um, it's about a 90% increase of survivability rate if we can actually get our guys to the next MTF or the next level of care. Wow. So on the front lines, we need our guys to really have their knowledge. Well, I think I'm ready to go, so. All right, why don't you go ahead and join the guys? When I got in the room, I was surprised at how intense it was. Corman Nelson walked me through the steps of assessing our patient. As we moved from head to toe evaluating the wounds of our service member, we made sure that he was breathing and to comfort him. To stop a leg bleed, I tried to put on a tourniquet and a splint, but I found it was much harder with strobe lights and smoke in my face. And in an instant, the lights were on and the scenario was over. We're good. We talked about our chest is from our neck to our navel yep. all the way around. So we got all of our occlusive dressings taken care of. It looks like we didn't have a tension pneumothorax, so we just kept moving. I noticed that we attempted to split. Can you please explain to me what that's supposed to be? Yeah, so I was, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's, it's not good. Right, that's a feeble splint. We'll get on that later. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. But other than that, y'all did great. You had your patient packaged and ready for the helos when they were inbound. Well, thank you, and I think, uh, I think we're going to do one more, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm here with hospital corpsman third class Ryan Nelson. He was my partner throughout this training. How did I do on the first part? You did well. Um, given the limited time you've had to train, uh, you did really well. This is a, not a skill you learn overnight. We really give you the tools. It's up to you to train and get better at it and master it. It's tarnishable, so you've got to keep on the training and keep going. As a corpsman, how is this valuable to you? Very valuable because as a corpsman, especially uh, with infantry, you're the first line of defense. Um, you're usually there with limited supplies that you can carry and uh, limited personnel to help. So really being able to do the right treatment at the right time is going to help exponentially with the survivability. Well, let's see how I can uh, mess up part two. Let's do it. It's time for round two. Let's go! This time, I had an idea of what to expect in the room, and I thought it'd be easier but I soon found out I was wrong. This patient had different injuries on the first, and I had trouble locating an IV in the medical bag. But in situations like this, you have to make do with what you have. Luckily, I had an experienced Navy corpsman by my side. It's very clear why this training is essential in refreshing the skills of our medical personnel in trauma and combat situations. TCCC allows them to stay sharp in stressful situations. And once again, it was over. You got in there, first thing you did was you identified that major massive bleed, got in there, started packing, you were assisting them, opening things like that. I started coaching you through doing your, your airway, your respirations and stuff like that. You always got to keep with your march algorithm. So you start with your massive hemorrhage, move through your airway, move down to your chest. That's when we have those, those steps so that we don't get lost and forget exactly what we're doing. So we go down through those steps. Like I said, we had a little bit of a fumble up when we went to start that IV, but that's all right. We adapted and overcome. That's right. what we're going to have to do in a forward area. How did you feel about this patient? Uh, I felt better. It was still just as stressful. I mean, you know, you're, but it's, um, I can see why you need three days of classroom, you know, on top of already being a hospital corpsman to come in here and perform the way you're supposed to perform. So, 
Do you have any more questions for me? No, I mean, I, I appreciate you having me out here today. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> when needed, Navy medicine can adapt and overcome. Whether it's turning a classroom into a simulated battlefield or designing a course specifically to increase survivability rates. The whole point of TCCC is so that when Navy corpsmen hear the call of corpsmen up, they're ready to answer. Thanks for joining us on Scrubbing In. We'll see you next time.